Hi, I'm Anna and I'm really pleased to introduce you to these how-to videos from Stroma. First and foremost, we're really glad that you decided to go with a Stroma. Owners of the Stroma ST1 models need the Omni BT app for connectivity. All other Stroma models have the Omni C app, which is connected via Bluetooth and the cellular network. The Stroma BT app connects exclusively via Bluetooth. Control of the bike is possible in the radius of the Bluetooth connection, so about 20 meters. You have already downloaded your Omni BT app and your dealer has already paired your bike with the app. Perfect. To help you take advantage of the features and benefits, this video will walk you through the general features of the Omni BT app. On the start page, you can see whether your bike is connected or not. In order for the app to connect to the Stroma, your bike must be turned on and the Bluetooth must also be turned on in the bike's display and also in your cell phone's settings. Let us now start with the first overview. Here on the home page of the app, you can lock and unlock your bike. You also have the bike's parameters. So you have the battery, the average speed of your trip, trip distance and the total trip time. The menu icon on the top right takes you to the bike profile settings. In the sensors line, you can adjust the response behavior to your riding style. Click on the red arrow on the right and then move each slider respectively to your preferences. The higher the sensitivity of the pedal sensor, the less pressure you have to apply to the pedals before assistance kicks in. With the sensitivity of the brake sensor, you can determine when the motor brake and the regenerative braking take effect. The sensitivity of the brake sensors does not mean from which point the brake sensors take effect, but rather how strong the regenerative braking is, i.e. how much braking energy flows back into the battery. With high sensitivity, regenerative braking is strong when the battery level is low. With low sensitivity, low battery levels will not result in such strong regenerative braking. Once you have adjusted the sliders, press Save Settings. Motor tuning can adjust the speed, torque and agility. These settings only apply to assistance level 2. You can choose between different presets. There's standard, snow, city, tour and custom. So if I were to set the speed back, then it reduces energy consumption but increases my range. With the torque setting, I can determine how fast the motor accelerates. Higher torque means stronger acceleration and allows for sportier handling. Lower torque reduces energy consumption and increases the range. When tuning the agility, you can determine how quickly the motor responds and how powerfully it assists you once you start pedalling. The lower the agility, the lower the power consumption. After adjusting the sliders, click Save Settings. How far I can get with my battery depends not only on these settings, but there are a number of other factors as well. For instance, the choice of gear, the cadence, my riding style, the terrain, even the road surface, tyre pressure, weight, air resistance, the riding position, how much I stop, the temperature, and even the condition of the wear parts can make a difference. Under theft protection, the locking pin code can be changed and auto lock can also be activated. With this, the bike locks itself automatically after either three, five, or 10 minutes. Without auto lock enable, the bike will go into standby mode after five minutes of no activity, but this will not be locked. Region can be used to set the desired language and choose the metric system as well as the time format. Under Menu, My Stroma, you have access to a user manual of the bike. Under Service Booklet, you will find details such as installed firmware and the service history of your Stroma. The service booklet is updated by your Stroma dealer with each service. You have an overview of all the performed services here. This can be really useful when reselling your bike if you decide to go for a new generation Stroma. Under Help FAQ, you will find the newly revised Q&A section. You can find answers to frequently asked questions by entering a search term. If you have not found the answer to your question in the FAQs and your Stroma dealer is also unable to help, you can contact Stroma directly from the app using the contact form under contact. And last but not least, you can log out of your OmniBT account using the last menu item. We have now reached the end of the how-to video about the menu functions of the OmniBT app. We wish you a lot of fun using the app and even more on your daily commute.